Mm. All right, guys, welcome back to some more Starfield. Hope you are all all right. Now, when we left off on the last video, we were halfway through, or I'm guessing we were about halfway through, the Free Star Rangers quest line. So I think we're just going to carry on with that, see if we can get it done all in this video. So next up, we've got Surgical Strike. Go to the clinic. I'm tracking Maya Cruz, a technical genius, a senior member of the first who recently had an emergency surgery. Marshall Blake suggests I talk to Ranger Ben Armistead at the clinic, a sophisticated medical facility in orbit of Deep Harbor. Right, well, there's our first destination, guys. Well, here we are, Deep Harbor, Narayan system. Ah, oh, here's the clinic. Oh, of course it's a, of course it's a clinic in outer space. I should have known. It's a hospital in space. A floating hospital. This docking animation gets so... like, boring. It just becomes redundant. Right. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. I hate this delivery run. Can't ever get here fast enough. Courier. We know all about that from Fallout New Vegas. Is a challenge, even when there isn't an outbreak of some sort. Aha. Welcome to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Is there something I can do for you? Having a conversation from 20 feet away? No. All right then. I'd rather not shout across the clinic if it's not all the exactly same to you. A hotbed of criminal activity here, is it? Well, that suits me fine. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Well, every Ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> You can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. If you want help, I'm here. All right, thanks, Sarah. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darby. She's the one in charge around here. Yeah, Who am I detected by? Oh shit! I hope I didn't. Done... Oh, I didn't get caught there. Is that flip back to where? Where? Mm, that could work. Ah, uh, wait, no, it couldn't. There we go. My god, why did that take me so long to figure that out? 
At a right moment there. I've seen you've done that before. Instigating assassins Beowulf. Is that a suppressor on it as well? Oh, I've got to have that. Yoink. Hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. Everything good? There's a lot of bad beards in this game. Not that I can talk like. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer systems, so uh, I doubt that's related. That's yeah, still, that's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier, huh? Yeah, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad. The thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? Uh. That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. Keep it moving. Why am I getting a funny feeling about this guy? We'll get you right as rain in no time. Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. You haven't even gone onto a different screen. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias, which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yeah, let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Aha. Search for the source of the system disruption. Right, that's the, that's the optional objective, so I'm going to go for this. Let's have a look at these first. Without personnel entering the VIP wing without authorization. Hear about the bank heist on Aquila City. All right, admin access. Gain entry to the VIP wing. It's going to require some sneaking around. I don't mean to be rude, but unless this is a medical emergency, please get someone else to help you. Yes, what do you want? Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Who exactly are you? And I require you to respect my authority as a senior doctor here at the clinic. The answer is no. The rules are the rules, no exceptions. Oh my goodness. Are we really going to let this bureaucrat block our progress? Well, we have no jurisdiction here. I'm a busy man. So make it quick.
Do I go all guns blazing straight in for a five? Let's oh my god, it actually worked. <laughs> you may think. Oh my god, I got a five and I got a one wrong. I don't want anyone to get hurt. All right. Nice. I can see there's no dissuading you. I suppose I could make an exception just this once. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. And that, guys, is exactly why in Bethesda RPGs, go for speech skills. Now, what I'm going to do, since I just got me 10 out of 10, boom, 50% increased chance of success. Mastered. Let's go. Samples get disposed of. I am now a master in the art of persuasion. You know I went to chef school. That will open a lot of doors for me. Metaphorically and physically. Stopping at the clinic to do a bit of xeno research. Uh, wait. What the hell? Just make sure I'm uh, hidden while I'm nicking stuff. I don't want to. Emergency kit. Wait, what is an emergency kit? Restores eight percent health for five seconds. That's not. That's not too bad, actually. I better take them bandages and all. We treat like lacerations and that. Not in part inaccessible. Right, let's figure out what went on here. Oh! Modified terminal. Wait, that didn't... Oh, shit! Sorry, Sarah, I nearly blew you a bit. I think that actually... did anything. Right, okay. Well, lay not me clues, then. Must be something in this room. Question is, what is it? Aha. The rangers are on to us, they're gonna find you, and when they do, an alias won't protect you. The best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. You hide out in the old asteroid mine at Sak Sakharov. Oh well there we go. Looks like that's where we're going. Maybe steal one of the clinic's emergency ships. Make sure there's nothing here left on this clinic. No. Right, I don't think there's anyone to talk to, guys. So I'll see you on Sakharov. Alright, here we are. We grab jumped to Sakharov. Investigate the abandoned asteroid mine. Now, do we need to get any closer? Or. Oh. Yeah, I'm just just fly there. Oh, I've got no room for all of this. Oh, that looks... Right, let us jettison some stuff out of here. I don't need... Right, I can't get rid of them because they're quite uh, good. 
I really need to get a bigger ship. That's me next part of call. I need a bigger ship. I'll do that before the next video. Um, right there, common. Oh my god, I've got 53 of them. I can't even jettison it from here. That's so annoying. Oh, well, never mind. It is what it is. Oh, this is so weird, docking at a location like this. That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, let's go. Abandoned mine. They always say that, but they're never abandoned. I want to walk in here and not just kick off. Clinic med response. I'm assuming I'm going to probably come out of there at the end. This is kind of a dungeon type. That's what I'm talking about. Master lock. Love to see it. Um, right. Now let's try and figure out what can go where. That could work. And then you'd have four left. That doesn't work. Hang on. This might have been a mistake to commit to this. Oh, it wasn't. Number three. And the final one. Nice, let's go. Modified, calibrated, dumb. Oh, suppressed. Um, one thing I would do try and stick by, and this would be my advice to anyone else as well. If it's not something that's better than what you've got, and it doesn't have a load of fancy perks and stuff, and it's not legendary, and it's, you know, just skip past it. Even though it says it's worth... Actually, it's not. Oh, yeah. Even though it's worth 8,272 credits, it's still worth skipping over because, tell, let me tell you, encumbrance in this game is no joke. I mean, what am I at now? What's my capacity at? 255 I can hold. So, I mean, I could pick that up, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I was just more happy sitting and opening the lock, to be honest with you. I got more satisfaction out of opening that lock. Things to focus on picking up. Jesus Christ. Ah, now I can see why Stroud Eklund. Nearly went up in flames. That crystalline formation looks quite intriguing. Funny. Um, as I was saying before, I needed to blow myself to smithereens. Um, 
pick up digi picks, pick up med packs. And that's about it, really. I don't even bother with food and drink because, really, if you've got the med packs, it really makes no difference whatsoever. And a lot of the time, they don't even heal you that much anyway, so it's really a waste of carrying. Oh, and pick up cred sticks, obviously. Oh, med pack, speak of the devil. so easy to just get into the habit of picking up absolutely everything that you see but you really cannot play the game like that otherwise you're going to be stopping every five minutes and dropping what you've got <laughs> to make room for something else oh digi pick there we go that's what i'm talking about med pack Especially things like this, the miscellaneous items, even though they've got a little bit of value in them. Sometimes it's not even worth it because you get credits from quests. You get credits from so many different things in this game that selling is not really that important. I'm going to pick this cobalt up just because. Shard. Shard what? Topper. Where are you shooting, Sarah? We've just been up there. What the hell's meant to be up there like? How the hell did that get up there? Oh! Oof, there's traps as well. I've got to be careful here. More cobalt. Uh, put up a wall. Oh, nice. I better watch out for stuff like that because I didn't actually realise you could do that. Shows how much attention I've been paying, doesn't it? I haven't really used them um, shotties in this game, have I? So far. Mass nothing. The standard emergency medical kit of the set. Oh. Why did I. Oh, I was reading it as that. I thought it was that. Semi metal wafer. Rare manufactured component. I'll pick it up. Obviously, the good thing about the med packs is as well is that they actually don't weigh anything. Oh! Is that they actually don't weigh anything. I quite like this place, actually. This cavern. It's like an enormous geode. Crystalline formations like this are incredibly rare. Why this place was abandoned? I'll never understand. Is that a... Uh... Can't even scan it. Nice. There's my ballistic weapon challenge done as well. Right, I'm not going to take that elevator because I want to go and see what's in this. So... See, that there is just not worth picking up at all. It just holds absolutely no value to me whatsoever. Yeah, I tell you what, keep throwing med packs at me. A chunk's chunk walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve food, do you? Chunk's sit down and says then I guess I'm in the right place I don't get that one knock knock who's there broken sword broken sword who oh never mind it's pointless oh, that was pretty shit 
How many atheists does it take to screw in a light bulb? None, they're already enlightened. <laughs> What's the last thing to go through a freestyle militia member's mind when they meet a United Colonies Marina laser beam? <laughs> Why don't Terramorphs eat clowns? They taste funny. <laughs> There were some decent ones in there. I'll give them it. Quick scope. Did anyone else have a fears like 10 years ago when they used to just, it didn't matter what game it was, this used to try and uh, quick scope absolutely everything. Even though the mechanics were really only built for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 and 2. Oh, come on. That thing's jumped into the ground and it ain't coming back. Where have you gone, you little bastard? I don't think that was it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and another one. No, no, I'm all right, Sarah. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Secure access. Follow the line. Follow the line, I'm guessing. How did I not see that? The first time. I really don't know how I missed that, actually. Find anything useful on there. Tell you what, if I couldn't get the novice, I might as well just give up on the game now, like. Twenty-four XP every time you kill one of them. That is so good. Oh! Find the angle. Quite like this old Earth shotgun. To be fair, it's quite air. Uh, packs a punch. What is even the point in that? Apart from for literally cosmetic reasons. My friend will be. Will be dead in a minute. Right, let's keep going. I hope I was meant to drop down here. That's them Xeno grubs, isn't it? As long as they ain't Terramorphs. Right, where is that? Where is that path? Aha! Good splatter. Oh, expert door. Well, let's keep the streak of lock picking going. Oh, can we get? No. Oh no, actually, yes we can. Let's go. Go 
armor pack, antibiotics. Oh, bit of contraband. Take the frags and all, 100%. Med pack, wrench, tape measure, wire spool, impact driver. Take the ammo. Mm. I'll pick it up only because it's 2.3 mass. It's like nothing. It weighs nothing. I wouldn't normally have picked that up. But. Uh, impact grenade, stun man, frag. Digi pick, let's go. Alright, hang on. We've got another. Got another door. Oh. Simple as that, eh? Uh, oh, it's a camera. I thought it was a tourist. Fuck! Oh, that, yeah, you do that, Sarah. Yeah, you just walk straight into the electric. Something's living in here, and I doubt it wants us to intrude. Tau grade Rio stat. It's uncommon. I, I'm reluctant to pick up uncommon crafting materials because they just weigh so much. And if they un, if they like uncommon, if they rare, then I'll I'll consider it. But this shotgun is really doing the business. Anything like oh, Bridger, what is that? That's a looks like a grenade launcher. Maelstrom, already got one of them. Right, we've got an elevator, we've got steps to go down. There's another way here, which I want to see what. Oh, it's just that. I'll take the stairs. Bit of exercise is good for us. Uh, what else was shooting at me? Oh. Sarah, I can't see. Alright, are we good? Not quite. The crosshairs went red on Sarah there. I nearly blew it a bit. Oh! Another one there. Right. I'll take you later, Ammo. so weird when the crosshair starts going ah oh, that's why I was just farming the hell out of that uh, boosting challenge there to boost during combat I can see another turret around the corner there we go there's that challenge done champion Right, are we finally safe? Didn't mean to pick that up. Drama park. Uh, oh, follow the wire. Follow the wire.
Um. Right. Well, that ain't the way then, obviously. Can't really fuck that up. So I was trying to do. another door to cut open as well. Aha. I found ya. Oh, that's not a very nice introduction. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. Ugh. How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Oh, well, I'll give the strip. Oh, I was going to say, I'll give it to that lad. Right, well, before I go up, I'm looting this room that you're sat in because there's probably all sorts in here there we go two digi picks right off the bat uh... oh my god a poncho Looks like she's ready to kick the bucket, to be fair, like. Bottom floor. No. Oh. Didn't even realise that was an elevator. Oh, well, right. What is my objective? Give the encrypted slate to Alex. Right, guys. Well, if now interesting happens from here back to Aquila City, I'll see you there. All right, guys. Finally back in Aquila City. I had to get rid of my contraband that I nearly forgot I had in my possession before I entered any of the... These the, um, the right systems. I don't think it would have mattered coming here, but... Hey there, I still wanted to get rid of it. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Free Star Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Got your other slate. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Surgical strike. Wait, the best there is. Mission updated. Wait, 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 wait. No, it isn't. It still says the same thing. On the run. Is this me next one? I'm proud to be helping the Free Star Rangers. Must be because Blake's not here. Right. Well, guys, I'll see you at the Red Mile.
Listen. I'm not sure if I've ever been to this uh, system before. Merchant Freighter. On the line. What's the word, vessel? Oh, nothing. I just thought you wanted to talk to us for some reason. Right. Red Mile. Oh, let's scan there. Alright, let's go. I actually had another objective or some sort of quest that was supposed to take me here as well. So it's two birds, one stone kind of thing. I'm not even sure what the Red Mile is. Talk to Autumn McMillan. The Red Mile. Oh, just the thought of landing at the Red Mile was making me sick. Now that we're here, I'm almost at a loss. The Darth Vader on Darth Patrol. Air. I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up. Go outside and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Let me be clear. You start something, every one of us in here will make sure to end it. Hey, watch out. You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. I lead the security force. Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because May lets us handle things our way. Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open on the bar floor, you're gonna think twice about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? Now go on, get. So this is a casino then. Fallout New Vegas. Lucky 38. The tops, ultra lux. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Just gotta look out for Mr. House. Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Look, both of you are here for the same reason. So why don't you drop the tough girl charade and learn to work as a team? And I'm telling you, I don't have time to babysit rookies. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me.
Actually, I better put that away. Participate in blood sports can possibly be considered celebrities or heroes. Oh, in my mind, they're worse than criminals. If you're looking to register, you'll need to speak to Miss Devi. Who are you? Oh, if it's none of my business who you are, then you have no business being at a meeting I arranged. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. <laughs> yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. All right. It's your call to make. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Really going yeah, I'll try. On the mile, huh? So, what's new with you today? That's really simple, I tell you. He sounds like... He sounds like the guy who voices, uh, oh my god, what was its name in Star Wars Jedi Survivor? That fishing thing. The one that went fishing all the time. Listen, friend. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm trying to relax and you people won't give me a moment's peace. That's definitely him. I tell you what. If you want a conversation with me, it will cost you. Bring me a runner's rush from the bar and then we can talk. Deal? Do you now? How about you stop pulling my plonker and come back when you've got what I've asked for? What's he want? Oh my god, look at all these cred sticks. Oh my god, there's like so much money to be had. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life. My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Scuva! That was his name. Sorry, that just came to me. <laughs> Never heard of it. Never heard of it? I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> You're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, 
Please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him? Exactly. It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll be you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from our patrons who will place wagers on your survival. That's... Oh, I should have asked if I could bet on myself. Mission or not, I can't even imagine why you take part in such an uncivilized activity. There's always a better way. Oh, shut up, Sarah. Are you ready to begin? Stop being so judgmental. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Okay, hello. Hello. Hello, Gavna. I'm looking for work. You are in. I'm only looking to earn the going rate. Right? Why is that? Your attention, please. Bath Not sure that's the best. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, sounds fair. What's my assignment? That's so weird. I've no just problem. got another follow. Now is your chance to get approval of our fearless challenger as you contemplate your wages. People betting over other people's face are fine. Absolutely revolting. Activate the Red Mile Beacon. Alrighty there. Create a floor. Alright. Don't think there's anything else for us to pick up, like. Let's go. Oh, lovely start. Find anything useful? Bunch of dead people. We haven't even begun yet. Oh, what the f Where'd that thing run off to? Oh, there it is. What? What? Make sure I scan them. Ah. 
Alright, let's go. Oh, I've just picked up shit that I did not need there. Wait a minute. Uh, what did I just pick up there? Modified Kraken. I don't need that. Rip Shank. I don't need that. Thirty-six. What's the point of the zoom feature when still can't even scan it from that far away? Oh, I'll have your credits, thanks. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Can I see? Lord, this here is shit. Another 36. Nice digi pick. Red mile, we made it. We're getting closer to the exhaust stack. Let's press ahead. I'll show them. In just a few days, I'm going to be filthy rich. Well, how'd that turn out for you, fella? Might as well take off. Let's bring this stuff back to the ship and sort through it later. Yeah, easier said than done. Oh! Do you mind? I was having a look there. Gotta stay away from them plants because they like actually harm you.
I'm getting sick of these now. I didn't mean to try and place an outpost anyway. These aren't no joke, these things like. Oh. You know what, I think I'm just gonna try and go make a break for it here, like. Or not, I'll just get shot out of the air. Getting a bit choppy there. Oh, and it scanned like one more of them things. What a joke. Anyway, main thing we made it. Whew. I get me meeting now. I'm back. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Indeed, you have. And in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Yeah, Will. I hear you're the one of the runners. Message. You're back. Are you okay? Really? Never better. Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated, or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. Get the hell out of my face, you potential I hope you'll enjoy your visit. Come on, and involve me in this conversation. <laughs> go bother someone else now. Ah, you again. Please tell me you've got a nice... Well, that's no way to treat a Red Mile superstar, though, is it? If you decide you want to have... He's taking the piss, this fucker. And the servers are what? Extortionate in here. Come and see me if you need anything else. Hey, yeah. Ah, you again. Please tell me. Ah, oh, 
Most kind. So, what brings you back? Afraid I'm right out of autographed pictures. Well, you really haven't been around much, have you? I'm Donovan Reese. I, the Donovan Reese. As in the gent that survived 28 red mile runs, including the third fastest on record. Nah, just relish a challenge. I'd still be out there today if my knees and my back won't shot to hell. Besides, I'm retired these days. I think I've earned the chance to enjoy the fruits of my labors. Being famous has its benefits, after all. Impressive. <laughs> That's an understatement. We're talking a game of death and dismemberment. Most people don't survive one, let alone as many as I am. You can count on one hand the number of runners ever to pull that off, and only half of them are still alive. It's rare company you're in, to say the least. Have I bought him a drink just to talk about him running that red mile? <laughs> don't go breaking my record for one. Other than that, don't hesitate, ever. You hesitate. You spend too much time thinking things through. Well, that's how you get yourself killed out there. I always say the best way to run the course is on pure instinct. You let that take over and drive you, chances are you'll win. Unless you already know your instincts are shite, in which case, don't run the course at all. <laughs> As if that's all I've just done there. Time for me to keep my promise, runner. You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here waiting for you. All right, well, let's go and see this fella. All right, here we are, and that's his ship there. I like it when you can just bounce around on the planets, it's fun. Fortuna. Right, Marco. You big bag of shite. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged ranger. I'm willing to bet this deputy can handle whatever you intend to throw in our path. And who might you be? Sarah. Sarah Morgan. It's a pleasure to welcome you aboard, Sarah. It's clear you are a woman of refinement, as well as beauty. How about we skip the compliments and move things along, shall we? Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Oh, now, this is that skill I'd unlocked the negotiation. I can't do that. 
The losses I'd incur would be too great. How about I sweeten the deal? Accept my offer, and I'll throw in a little something extra for you. Uh. Mm. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know, but you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? If being in the First Cavalry taught me anything, it's that blind loyalty gets you killed. Time you learn the same. Oh, well. So I've got the pot. Marco's just had his face blown off. Uh, I'll take it. I'll have your cred sticks and all. Well, it's worth keep. Uh, it's worth taking if only if to sell. Right, oh, let's change the turrets. Let's get them working for me, yeah. Plus 9% persuasion chance. Wine. What are you going to do? Taking all your wine. Right, let's fight our way off this ship. Yeah, <laughs> going by the bed. Nice level up. Oh, uh, yeah, do you know what? I was meant to tell you is when I'd come out of that cave. Uh, if I can find it, what was it called? Uh. found this uh, recon stim which I'm kind of guessing is well not really but it's it's Starfield's version of the stealth boy where it sort of helps you helps you sneak around for a limited time oh did you pick thank you very much Sorry. More wine.
We are out of here. Why is there a... Why was there an icon telling me to go? Right, got to give the encrypted slate to our man, Alex. So I will see yous back at Aquila City. Oh, here we go. Another one of these. Oh, they say the same thing every time. Why would I... You ain't getting 8,000 credits off me. Oh, here's these other cronies. Nice. Right, let's try that again, guys. I'll see you on Aquila City. Right, we're finally back here at the rock and we can give this slate to Alex and I'm hoping this is the last one that he needs. I specialize in cryptography. A lot of smugglers use coded slates, so it comes in handy. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom, down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because let me tell you, I am so close. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. I'm on the run, done. First to fight, first to die. Right, I'm Come guessing. Here, Take a seat. Right, I'm not going to do that yet. Right, so that's the next Freestar Rangers. But I don't want to jump into that in case it's a long mission. So what we should maybe do. Let's go and do... I'll go and do these little miscellaneous ones. Right, go to any planet in the Aranea system. All right, well, I'll see you there. All right, here we are. Locate and destroy the Crimson Fleet captain in orbit of Aranir. Because I'm so boring, I picked Aranir 1. Now, 3,002. Right, that's because he's all the way down here. Right, so I basically need to go to this one then. Right, let's try that again. Wait, it's telling me to destroy the Crimson Fleet, but... Oh, shit! Is this not going to affect my... I'm assuming this is probably going to affect my standing with them. Oh, well, fuck it. We don't like the Crimson Fleet anyway. Oh, did that just say my bounty got removed?
Oh, three and a half thousand credits. Right, what's the next one? Kill the outlaw gang leader on Bradbury 1A. All right, guys, well, that's our next destination. Since that's 300 meters away, guys, I'll uh, cut to when I get closer to it. All right, we're coming up on it now. Doesn't look too big actually either, which is good. My jetpack actually refreshes very quickly. All right, deserted relay. St oh, bunch of ecliptic. That was just completely pointless throwing that grenade. Who was shooting at me there? My detection meters dropping. Although I'm about to be found again pretty quickly. Catch! Refined pacifier. Thank you very much. Oh, did that just say a 20% increase on uh, persuasion? Right, now our final one. Kill the outlaw captain on Eridani V3A. Right. If no interest happens, guys, you know the score by now. I'll see you there. Eridani was a long way away. Uh, right. Straight into a space fight. Because why not? Credits will do. Of course. Thanks again for the help. Over and out. Free money. See, earlier, was it earlier or was it in the previous video? I can't remember now when I was talking about the ways you can get credits. I mean, you just get them so easily. Don't even bother trying to pick loads of items up and sell. Like, look at that. I've just destroyed that ship there. 2004. It's come off that one. I mean, I'm not even really being that meticulous there. I probably could have got more. But I want to get to this abandoned weapon station. Take down this last bounty target. And then it might be a wrap. No. Alright, here we go. Let's make this professional. Straight in, straight out. Eliminate the target. Right, let's see. Plenty of enemies. I'm just going to try and sneak around this way. Well, not really sneak, but just manoeuvre myself around. 
Oh, there we go. Still haven't been spotted. Oh, wait, the door might give it away. Oh, that sneak attack, though. Wait, who else is shooting at them? Just like that, we don't. Oh, my God, I'm really digi-picking in the middle of a firefight. If only me could end up doing that. Oh, a master safe. Let's go. Um, that works. They are one done. Shit. Um, they are two done. doesn't work oh that works and then finally last but not least hey hey 1100 credits Oh, nice. Flaming deck. What's that? I don't know what that is. Told you a million times in our old business what the client is going to do with their shipments or stop asking. Oh, travel to the vulture's roost. See, I've just found myself a... Oh, it must have been the robots that... Uh killed that uh, target I had. That's some notebook, in it. Oh, it's all kicking off out there. Galvan, oh. Blend in with the environment while sneaking and not moving. What the hell? Oh, finally encumbered. It had to happen eventually, guys. Right, let me see what happened. Dropped. I'm sure I picked up some useless shit like a knife or something. I'm sure I remember seeing it. Okay, maybe I didn't. Uh, common. Good night. You are out of here. So am I. See is in a bit. Get me on my ship and take off here. That's recharging so fast. Those sick. Just float around. See yous. Alright guys, I'm going to head back to Aquila City. So, I'll see yous there. Right, we made it back to the rock. So, what I'll do this quest, the way I get upstairs. When I don't die of CO2. Um, so, what I'll do this mission here, 
I'm assuming this is still... Well, I must be close to this three-star Rangers questline finish. And so we'll definitely finish that in the next video. And then we'll see what else we can do if we've got time. Um, but I want to get this one done. And then I do sort of need to figure out what the crack is with this one. Because it's annoying me that it won't progress. I don't know if my game's glitched or if there's something I've done wrong. Maybe there's something that I was supposed to do that I didn't know I was supposed to do. Type of thing. So I'll try and figure that one out. But anyway, we'll focus on that Freestyle Rangers one first. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. So thank you so much for watching, as always. Um, if you could drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, I'd really, really appreciate it. And I hope wherever you all are, you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.